Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. Today we're painting a buttercup and we're gonna be using our reusable teaching guide and we're gonna be using folk art multi-surface paint. So let me tell you the colors we have today. We've got moon yellow, yellow ochre, citrus green, sap green, and wicker white. And what we're going to do is use a, a 12 flat brush and a two script liner. And now on this side of the reusable teaching guide, we are going to stroke and wipe off my actual size stroke. So that's gonna help it be easy for you right at home. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna put my blossoms in and then add some greenery. So let's start over here with doing these little petals here and it shares with you on this the guide every color and brush that you need. All right, so I'm gonna come right in between the moon yellow and the yellow ochre and I'm gonna work this in and then on the moon yellow corner I am going to pick up wicker white and work this in. Okay, so moon yellow and wicker white is mostly what you're gonna have and just every once in a while a touch of the yellow ochre, all right? So now what's gonna happen here is that we're going to come right in here and see if that color, see how nice that color matches? So see these two lines here? We're gonna touch here and go up and over, okay? Up and over the stroke. So, and then I've numbered these. So if you're on top of my stroke, it makes it easier. And one little thing I tell people to think about is a gingerbread man. And so there's his head, his two arms, and four and five are the two legs, all right? So if you practice that, it makes it really easy when you're actually doing this project and think in your head about the gingerbread man. All right, so up here, I'm going up, one, two, three. So one, two, three. And, and it looks better the faster you go. So I want you to touch, pressure, lift. All right, and then you get a little bit more yellow ochre to do four and five on top of here. So you do four and five, okay? So practice those and putting them um, in front and in back or all the way around in a circle. And so what we're using is a wet paper towel or a baby wipe. And then what's gonna happen is we have these little buds that go in here. That, and those are just gonna kind of be the yellow ochre and moon yellow. And we're going to just stroke those in here, like one, two, just go like that, across with both colors, okay? See how I do this side and then come back with that side, all right? Then we'll come back and figure the um, center for you, all right? And these have little green clusters first and then I put the yellow in the middle, all right? So let's put those to the side. I want it right there so you remember the strokes that we're doing. And so it'll help you um, as you're picking up your color and you're starting your project to see that. Now these are gonna be on taller stems and then some down at the bottom. So let's wipe this brush and let's mostly use moon yellow and wicker white here and just work that in. This is in the double loader here. Makes it easy for you. We're gonna be two thirds up the brush Nice flat stroke, you can practice here again to make sure if you need to. All right, so I'm gonna leave the white on the inside and I'm gonna do that first stroke. And remember, here's an arm on the gingerbread man. There's another arm. Pressure left, pressure left for the two legs. All right, so those are, that's just the full laid out blossoms. So now what I want you to do is let's do some back blossoms. All right, so right here, let's put the yellow on the outside, yellow. 
the moon yellow and white. And then on front, we're just going to pick up a little bit of the yellow ochre and on the outside edge and come right in here. And they look like they're in front. Do you see that right in front? Now, if you want to do, if you don't like a stroke, don't wipe it off. I just want you to come in here and pick up fresh paint and restroke it. Okay, so let's just do a side view over here. There's one, two. Do like a little chisel down and another one. Okay, so now let's put some stems in there. So I'm going to wipe this off the brush and we're going to practice this just for a minute. So we're going to pick up the two colors. I didn't even wash it this time because the yellow does looks great in here with the green also. But look, you're just going to stroke there. See how nice that is? Now see these comma-like strokes, but they're up on the chisel, all right? The chisel edge of this brush to do that. So you just Practice a few along here, see how skinny you can get them. And then I'm going to flip the brush and do this base. This base right here is the base for the um, these little buds that are at the bottom that are just blooming up, okay? Oh. Okay. Now, let's wipe this off and... I want you to also look at the center that we're going to put in this flower. We can take the handle of the brush and put the citrus in there. And then what's going to happen with the script liner is that we're going to take this yellow ochre. And you might, um, sometimes you use water, sometimes you can just use a little bit of thicker paint. All right, so look, you touch and then you lift. Touch and lift as you're coming down. So see that? Touch touch. Now what happens here is we're going around from the back. Okay. And then we come across here on the front. So see these front ones right here are real important that they curve uh, just like the back ones, but they're down lower. All right. So let's go look at how this greenery is going to go in here. All right. So we do the stem. Sometimes people like to do the stem um, with a liner. I usually use the chisel of the brush. So here's a stem. Here's a stem. Little short strokes here to grab the bud. It's not a bud, it's a side view. Right here. All right. So I'm going to show you that I also use the flat of the chisel. So when you're here on the chisel, you can also get a little bit of thickness up there. And we're gonna put some in here, some of these comma strokes. That one got a little big, so I can put a little one next to it. And look, we can come out here and we can also pick up some white and some citrus and get a few of these clusters of greenery in here. Okay. Okay, so down here on the bottom, we're going to do some of these little new growth.
Okay, now we're going to wash that off and finish up getting the best part of these blossoms is the center. Okay, we also want to put a little bit of yellow ochre. And some moon yellow with wicker white. Okay, so we're going to put citrus in the center. <clears throat> and you really don't see the center of this much, but you can put a little bit with the brush handle. Okay. Now let's get the yellow ochre inky. Roll the brush because we want little teeny lines. You can come back over here and practice a little bit if you want to, to get those lines really small. All right, so we're gonna put little teeny lines all around the center. Let's see. All right, so Look at this. We're going to go right along there. It's a different perspective of the center here. So this one's all the way around. So this one I'm going to bring around. Okay. And then this just has a few coming out. So they're peeping out there. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to wash that off. And we're just going to pick up thick white. Okay, so now this is what we want to have happen, is this little guy right there. So I'm going to take and I just tap my finger, my little finger a little bit. And come around and put these little teeny dots. I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.